tanks have been used on the global battlefield for more than 100 years. Since its appearance at the Battle of the Somme in 1916 in Europe, this combat vehicle has completely changed the offensive tactics of armies. Although the US Marines have retired some tanks, while the British Army is also reducing its numbers, this type of combat vehicle will remain an important component for armies of the world for many decades to come. Historically, there have been a number of outstanding tanks produced in large quantities, engaged in effective combat in most of the conflict zones of the world. The first is the French Renault FT light tank. France was not the first country to develop tanks during the wars. It was the ally of France, Britain, that built heavy tanks with a crew of eight people. French designer Jean-Baptiste Estignan had a different direction. He believed that a smaller, more maneuverable tank produced in hundreds of units could overwhelm the enemy on the battlefield. As a result, the birth of the Renault FT, the light tank had a crew of only two people. Its main weapon was a rotating turret the forerunner of later modern tank development. During the World War I, France produced more than 3,000 Renault FT tanks, compared with the 20 A7V heavy tanks used by the German driver. Copies of the Renault FT were then built by the United States, Italy, and the Soviet Union, making it one of the most produced tanks until the outbreak of World War II. Today, about 40 Renault FTs are on display in museums and private collections around the world. Next to be the American Air Force Sherman tank. The Sherman was certainly not the best tank of World War II, but with more than 50,000 produced between 1942 and 1945, it was the American line of tanks most commonly used during the war. The Air Force Sherman was also the early tank used in the most battles by the British, French, Chinese, Canadian, and even Soviet armies. Sherman proved capable of fighting effectively against the Panzer III and Panzer IV of Nazi Germany. Sherman was also easier to maintain so the U.S. produced them in overwhelming numbers. During the Cold War, M4 Sherman was also used widely around the world. Currently, only a few M4 Sherman tanks exist. There are hundreds of Shermans on display in military museums and dozens of them in private collections. These legendary tanks continue to be regularly auctioned in international markets. One of the highest priced ones in November 2020 amounted to $400,000. American M60 tank. This was the most produced tank 
in the U.S. during the Cold War and was in service in 22 countries. The M60 was first introduced into service in 1959 and has been steadily upgraded and improved over the years. Currently, the M60 is still in use in 17 countries. A total of 15,000 M60s were built, most of which were the improved M60A1 variant with thicker armor and a better upgraded ammunition storage system. In 1997, the US Army retired the M60A3 tanks, but still about 1,700 are still in service with the Egyptian army. In addition, the Turkish and Israeli armies have about 900 and 700 tanks in service, respectively. Finally, it is impossible not to mention the T-54-55 of the Soviet Union. The T-54 was introduced in the late 1940s to replace the T-34 medium tanks, which were used effectively during World War II. The modified version was redesignated by the Soviet Union as the T-55. According to statistics, more than 100,000 T-54, T-55 tanks were produced from 1946 to 1983. This is the most produced tank in history. During the Cold War, Soviet tanks never confronted the North Atlantic Treaty Organization NATO, directly on the battlefield. However, the T-54-55 was used by Syria during the Six-Day War against Israel, where the T-54-55 directly confronted the US M-48 Pan tank and the British Centurion tank. During the 1970s, the T-54-55 also fought in Vietnam, Cambodia, and Uganda. This tank model has been widely exported and is still used around the world with about 50 countries. My video about the most produced tanks in war military history ends here. Thank you for watching. If you find this video interesting, please give me your thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to support the channel. Goodbye and see you again in the next videos.